Hello my country people, welcome back to the news. In a recent development, Peter Obi had made a tweet consigning the increase of uh, salaries of political office holders, judicial holders, lawmakers, the president, the vice president and all. He made a tweet concerning it where he challenged the decisions of the federal government concerning the increment of the salaries. He said, oh, that Tinibu should not look at that aspect, you know, that the increment should be reversed immediately and the savings should be devoted to fixing our education, health care, poverty elevation, especially at the remote areas where he talked about, you know, that that increment of salaries of political office holders is not, you know, what Nigeria is ought to be talking at this point. So he disapproved the increment of the salaries of elected politicians and all, where they talked about a 114% increase. You know, Peter B really condemned it. And then later on, the presidency got to debunk the claims of approving the salary increase for political office holders where they made it clear that uh, Tinibu have not yet given approval. You know, the president Tinibu had not given approval concerning the increment of the salaries, concerning the 114 increment of the salaries. Now, in the latest development, my country people, everywhere don't scatter. No be smart thing they happen. This one now, Ayo Fayosi, uh, the, the, the younger brother of uh, Ayo Fayosi, that is Isaac Fayosi, had made a very strong request that the Nigerian Secret Police DSS should arrest Peter Obi for peddling fake news. Guys, this man came out on his social media account on Instagram. He made a video that has gone viral requesting for the immediate arrest of Peter Obi for peddling fake news, my country people. This is really serious. Now, Isaac Fayosi has urged the Nigerian secret police to apprehend the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Gregory Obi, for peddling fake news. And on Wednesday, yes, there were first reports of the federal government raising the, the salaries of judicial workers and the newly elected politicians by 140%, 114%. And the headlines really sparked controversies and outrage amongst citizens. People were talking about it. Also, the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, you know, jumped into... Uh, his uh, verified uh, Twitter account and decided to give his own comments, his own thoughts about this. Although the trending report has been debunked by the presidency by Dele Aleke, where he made it known that uh, the federal government, that Tinibu have not yet approved it. So Nigerians and the general public should disregard the information that the government, the presidency, has not given approval for salary increase of uh, office holders and judicial officers. So he made it known that Nigerians should uh, dismiss such news. That yes, you know, Tinibu have not yet made approval of that particular issue of the increment of salary. So, the brother to the ex-governor of Ekiti State, uh, I of IOC, in a viral video, had requested, you know, the arrest of uh, of Peter Obi for peddling fake news. He, he claimed that uh, President Tinibu did not increase any person's salary. And he has not even touched the file. You know, they brought the file to him, but he has not approved it. So he said Tinibu did not increase anything. So Peter Obi should stop peddling this fake news. You know, the way he is spreading his fake mandate. Accused Peter Obi of spreading fake mandate. That Peter Obi should go and rest. You know, he made this known that uh, the DSS must arrest Peter Obi for peddling this fake news.
guys this is coming from isaac fiosi the younger brother to ayo fiosi so my country people what are your thoughts concerning this there have been so many reactions following this video that has gone viral people are talking about it i mean why would uh, isaac fiosi come out to request for the immediate arrest of p2b by the dss what has p2b done I, you know p2b is just commenting on what he saw you know what is trending he just gave his own thoughts does that mean he was the one that spread the rumor is it p2b that started the the spreading of the news or why is isaac fiosi trying to attack you know peter obi this way what is really going on why the bad blood why the you know pointing of her accusation fingers was it peter obi that started the spread of the fake news or he only reacted to the news you know what is really going on nigerians have reacted let peter obi be he is already frustrated now what will a caliber of obi make such utterances when he has not confirmed if he is not a part of the career of the news well we should tell mr peter obi to stop spreading spreading fake news around i remember this I, isaac fiosi was nothing until his brother became a kitty state governor this man himself he is fake and this man should be identified by his name you know this is why you are calling for his arrest is that why you are calling for for his arrest really this guy should go and hug transformer for the sake of obi this guy should let obi to rest i wonder now that the federal government will increase house salary again well they should wait once more i don't know why people choose to trade their stupidity even in public well I of, uh, isaac fiosi is such an hypocrite how much is your own salary guys these are reactions from nigerians you know nigerians are you know really reacting to this the fact that peter obi only commented to the news and not you know the main person behind the news he wasn't the one that brought about the news in the first place so why is isaac fiosi trying to attack him why is it demanding for his immediate arrest by the dss what has peter obi done that prompted you know isaac fiosi making a a, a a viral video that peter obi should be arrested so my country people what are your thoughts concerning this do you really think that yes as a result of peter obi commenting on this news he should be arrested do you think it's it warrants for his immediate arrest by the dss so guys i'm dropping here kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section dss i think dss should arrest peter obi now for spreading fake news Tinumbu didn't increase any political office holder salary. He hasn't even touched the fire. So Peter Obi was on Channel TV today, making mouth, running his mouth, looking for relevance. No, Mr. Obi, Tinumbu didn't increase anything. Stop spreading fake news the same way you are spreading fake mandates. Oga, go rest. Stop it. The guy didn't increase any salary. Nigerians, don't listen to them. Tinumbu is rich, he doesn't need your money, and the guy is working, he's working for you and I. Let us support him. Don't listen to this man, he's only looking for attention. Wait till 2027 or wait till after court. Please stop this fake news, sir.